Yo, I cannot believe we are finally doing it. This one right here for the people, for the Vintage Squad. The long-awaited, the long-anticipated, uh, the Vintage Sneaker Collection. I can't wait to show you guys today. What's going on YouTube, man? Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I appreciate everybody for coming and watching. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys my entire sneaker collection. I have roughly 200 pairs, and I'm gonna be showing you guys every single sneaker that I have in my crib, you know what I'm saying? So sit back, relax, make sure you watch the entire video. You might enjoy a couple of sneakers that you probably didn't know I had. And leave a huge like on today's video. We gotta get this up to at least a thousand likes. Now we gotta get this video right here to a thousand likes. Y'all spam the comments. Like I said, just sit back, let the video play. Even if you ain't watching it, let that thing play out. Cause this video is gonna save you some time to do. Like I said, if you're new, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for your boys so you don't miss out on any content that we drop. We trying to hit that 100,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. I know you guys can help me out. Like I said, subscribing, sharing with a friend, with a friend. Let them see your boy the vintage in your collection. And I can't wait to show you guys. So yeah, we're gonna start with all pretty much the nine Jordans. You guys see all the Jordans behind me. We're gonna start with all the nine Jordans, or primarily the nine Jordans. Jordans. So let's get right into it, man. All right, so for the first shoe, we have some uh, Pharrell Human Races right here in that like neon color, super bright, but you guys see it right here. I had to grab this, I think like two, three years ago, got it for retail. You guys remember the hype for these, you cannot hit any of the Pharrells uh, NMDs for retail. So I was like, you know what? I gotta grab them, gotta jump on the price. And uh, here we have it. Next, we have a pair of Yeezys, you guys see them, the Lundmark joints. And this was the time where you can actually hit on a uh, Foot Locker and Champ Sports back when I was living in San Antonio. And I got these for retail, surprisingly, the hype for the Yeezys back in 2017 was pretty high. And I was excited about getting these for that nice retail price. Next, we have the Fear of God joints right here with the nice zipper on the back and that swoops. The reason I wanted to get this out of all the other, you know, Fear of God joints is because it had that nice large swoosh on the back and you had that nice translucent uh, air unit right here. I love these things. You guys let me know what you think about these or let me know if you got them in the collection because a lot of people will shine away from copying these right here. Hey, next we have some Adidas EQT supports. These right here got them strictly for working out and then I end up not ever working out in them. So uh, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, next, of course, you got to have a crispy pair of all white G Faisal. It's kind of bright, but you know, all white Air Force One you gotta have at least a couple in the collection clean, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you wanna step out with a nice crispy pair. And uh, yeah, here we have it. All right, you guys see these crazy question mids right here. I think the only reason I got these is because I homie the retro is kid. But uh, yeah, right now, you probably won't ever see nobody wearing these, but I wanted to get them just for the nostalgia of the sneaker, the Candyland game. Uh, super dope, got the grass on top, polka dots. Probably won't ever wear them, but it's something cool to have in a collection to check out later on down the line. All right, guys, next we have a pair of Air Max ones that I customized myself. All gold on the upper, got some speckled mints on them, guys. And I had to throw the translucent bottoms on there. They're kind of yellowing now, but a dope uh, Nike ID that I did years ago. All right, guys, next we have a pair of Adidas 700. Uh, I think these are the V. Twos, yeah, the V2 700 Vanta colorway. Uh, just a sneaker that you can wear all the time. The cool thing about these, I bought them while I live in Germany, so I'm always keep these. All right, guys, we have some more Adidas. You got the Yeezy basketball joints, and I forget the colorway uh, or name of this one right here, but the only reason I got these is just because I wanted to hoop in them. I never end up playing basketball in them, so like I said, this has been sitting in the collection, something I probably won't ever wear. But it's just something cool to have. All right, next we have the Zoom Generation LeBron sneakers. Uh, these actually released, I think, back in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, during All-Star Game weekend. All right, next, check them out. We have the McChicken, a.k.a. the Sesame Yeezy 350s. Another cool thing about this one, I copied this when I lived in Germany as well for retail. If you guys remember when these first dropped, it was no getting them for retail, so it's pretty dope for me to actually grab them. And I wore these things a couple of times. We got a couple of dope fits with them, and I love these joints right here. And I actually still have the tag or the sticker price when I got them from Germany. The store is called Museum, so something cool to always have and check out later down the line, like I said. So you have the Flower 700 V3s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the V3 700s. All right, you see them? We have one of the most iconic sneakers, I feel like. The most groundbreaking, game-changing ones that Kanye came out with, uh, the Wave Runners. These right here hold weight for itself. There's not much to say about them because they are just super crazy. I love them. I'm glad Kanye came and changed the game with, you know what I'm saying, the whole dad looking sneaker and the Wave Runners. Probably top 10 for me of all time in my collection. Next, we have the 700 Salts. Uh, just an easy sneaker to wear. The only reason I did buy it because you can rock with a lot of different fits. And this is during the rise and the hype of the 700 Wave. So, you know what I'm saying? I kind of got a little hype BC copping a lot of these 700s that you guys are about to see. So, we have the Moav 700s. Uh, I think I rocked these probably the most out of all my 700s. You have another pair of those quantum bariums right here. Like I said, probably shoe I would never wear. 
So if you want them, they might be on the vintage closet very, very soon. We have a pair of Camo Descarcons. This is actually one of my most viewed videos on my YouTube channel when I did a review on no feet when I purchased these over in Germany a couple years back. Man, I swear I have so many Yeezys you guys can see and we have the cream colorway, light kind of bright, but you guys know the creams. You know what they're hitting for. And I think this was on the second wave or the second restock that it did for the cream Yeezy 350 V2s. Had to grab them, super cool, super clean. And uh, yeah, I love them, man. All right, you know, I had to show you eventually. We have the Zebras, another one of those groundbreaking game changing stingers that Kanye came out with. I remember when these first initial release like six years ago, the resale was like a thousand to like $1,500 was crazy. And you guys know the story, they restocked like three, four different times, huge restocks. And I dropped that price all the way down now. So, you know, something cool to have, something to always look back on and see what Kanye came out with and changed the game with got a pair of Reeboks right here I believe these are the GL 6000s I think I bought these like six years ago I beat them up when I first initially had them but I haven't worn them in probably close to five years from being honest we got the light maroon Arab tempos right here I forget the name of these Air Force ones but I think I got these from StockX like a couple years back and uh, I just like the you know the loud colors of course the fall colorways I told y'all you're probably gonna see a lot of these green uh brownish tannish sneakers just because i love rocking out with them i feel like i'm just best dressed in the fall and winter season we got the highlight 380 yeezy joints right here and we also have a pair of 380s in the mist colorway next we have the triple black yeezy 350 v2s i remember these came out you know everybody thought that the resale is gonna be super crazy it's gonna be unattainable but i was happy that they put a lot of pairs out so people can get these you know we couldn't get the power black v1s so they dropped the v2s yeah the rest was history got another clean pair of nike more tempos in that black colorway and they also have 3m laces in them guys which is crazy uh we take a flicks at nighttime i got a clean pair of penny twos uh, i don't know the official colorway like the name of the sneaker but these are the penny twos super clean you guys know i love phone posits i actually sold a lot of them so you probably won't see as many as i had my first phone posit collection i did on my channel like six years ago we got a crazy exotic pair of rap simmons right here and they call it the Oswegies, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, only reason I got it because they loud, they pop, and I only wore them one time, and I was SneakerCon Dallas back in 2019. We got a nice clean pair of uh, Revenge Storm Ian Connor joints, and I also have a pair of Pumas. I'm when I first started copping them, I was going crazy with them. I got like pretty much every single colorway and the Puma Clyde's right here. Got some nice clean pair of Hirachis. Uh, another shoe that I have never worn in a long time. I haven't worn these in a long time. Another clean pair of Nike More Tempos. Then they call these Chicago Bulls colorway. You know, of course, Pippen played for Chicago Bulls. And that, 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 that Bull colorway going crazy around these guys right here. We got a nice pair of Los Primeros uh, Air Force Ones that released back in 2016. Still have them. I didn't beat these things up. This was when I first fell in love with the forces again. And uh, yeah, you guys gonna see a lot more forces in this video. We got a pair of Tom and Jerry uh, Reeboks right here. I swear, this was a major impulse buy. Tom and Jerry on the tongues of these guys right here, as you can see. Got a crispy pair of Calabasas Yeezys. You see them. Another pair that I have never worn, Steel Diaz. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be selling these. So like I said, you guys stay tuned on my uh, the vintage underscore closet IG. So you can cop these things for some steals. I might let these go for like $40, I ain't gonna lie. Got a clean pair of Superstar Adidas. You guys can see them now. I don't even know the name of these things right here, but I got them strictly for the gym and I end up never wearing them to the gym. And next we have a pair of Kais Omar sneakers. I bought these back in 2021, I believe. Got a pair of Adidas uh, Flux right here in that Galaxy colorway. The only reason I got these, I swear, is because I thought the colorway was cool. And I ended up wearing these a lot, you know, going to the grocery store, getting gas in the car when I was on E. And uh, that's pretty much it for these right here. Got a pair of Duke Kyries that I planned on hooping in a long time ago. Then I end up not doing anything with them. So now we're starting to get to the foam posits. We have the metallic gold joints. You guys see they starting to yellow really bad, but I was a sucker for foam posits about six years ago. And I'm happy that in 2023, we're gonna start getting more of those OG colorways in the foam posits. We got another pair right here in that copper colorway. I love these things, man. I'm probably gonna pull these out this weekend. I believe this is like the second pair of foam posits I ever bought. The red October joints that released back in 2016 or 2017, I forget. Uh, but when it came out, had to get them. Love these things. I don't play basketball in them. Had a couple dope fits with them. And I'll beat these things up so bad. I need a fresh, crispy pair. Next, we have a pair of, what are these? The Air Max 2 Light Quick Strike joints right here. Uh, you guys see, they crazy, they exotic. And this is one of those shoes that I probably will never wear. But it's something cool to have. Check out. Look back in your collection like I'm doing today. Showing y'all 
what I have. Then we have another pair of bronze. Yeah, so we have the first pair or the second pair of Zoom Generation to ever release. This is the retro version of it, but I think this is the second colorway to ever drop for LeBron and the Zoom Generations. Got a black pair and the suede classics again. Like and you guys know I had to get the blue pair in these things. Check them out. It's been so long since I pulled out these foam posits. I forgot the name. These things are super, super dusty, but one of my favorite foam posits in the collection, they gotta retro these things next year, so I need a crispy pair. Hey, this shoe right here will always stay in the collection, near and dear to my heart. I remember my mother, she bought these for me my senior year in high school. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I couldn't always get sneakers growing up, so when she got me these, I almost cried, you know what I'm saying? We have a pair of the Kamikaze Reebok joints. I love these things right here. Shout out to my mom, Dukes. All right, now we touch some OG heat. You know what I'm saying? We have we have the AI answers. You guys see them. I haven't worn these in a minute. So I think I'm gonna put a lot of these things to the side so I can see them, so I can pull them out. If I'm going to the grocery store, I gotta pull this heat out, man. I think this is called like the Gucci colorway or something. You guys got the green, you got the red in there. And I forget like the official name of it, but a lot of people call them the Gucci. So I actually dropped the black pair in the same exact kind of color scheme as well. I only grabbed a white pair because these things is clean. We got a pair of Sauconies or Sacconies, whatever you call them, uh, in that mint green colorway. I also have a pair of uh, the Puma suede joints again in that mint green colorway as well. I love these things right here. I keep forgetting the name of this uh, particular colorway in Air Force One. It's like right at the tip of my tongue. If you guys remember, man, please comment it down below. Put the timestamp so I can go back and check it out myself. But I remember when these dropped back in 2013, I had to have them. I love these things. And they're actually in pretty good condition for these to be almost 10 years old. Next, we have a pair of the Orange Skeleton Air Force Ones. Cool thing about these sneakers, they actually glow in the dark at the bottom. Super dope. Air Force One Customs from the homie Tops World. You guys see you got the Supreme back there and you have the LV uh, logos going all around it. And just know, 2023, we coming in that Black Air Force One energy all year, man. I think I caught these back in, yeah, it says the year 2020. Uh, I remember I went and go cop these, went all over San Antonio to find a pair and actually did end up getting lucky and finding a pair, got it for under retail. Super cool sneaker to have to look back at. Definitely gonna pull these out sometime this winter. Promise y'all. Oh yeah, man. We have a pair of the King Griffey Juniors. Another one of those sneakers I had to freaking drive hours for uh, just to get these things. Got a black pair and the Puma Suede's. Like I said, man, a couple years or actually like six years ago, I was just going crazy buying all of them. They were super reliable. You can rock them in a lot of different outfits and I haven't worn them in a minute, but still a dope sneaker, man. All right, next we have a clean pair of Air Force Ones. I actually customized these myself. Uh, this is pretty much inspired by the Dior Air Jordan Ones. Couldn't afford them, didn't want to pay that, you know what I'm saying, that price for them joints. So I went on Nike ID, created these, and I love how they came out. Oh, and yeah, make sure you wear your sneakers. We got a pair of Puma States. I forget the region these was, you know, named after, but I got a lot of memory in these joints. I remember rocking this with my polo button up, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was super clean back in 2013, but the fit was probably actually some mid. Got a pair of the clock. Air Max ones, super clean. You got that translucent uh, toe box, something similar to what you got on the eBay Dunks. And I have a pair of Kyrie's. Uh, these are the What the Kyrie's that released, and another pair as well, a more colorful one. I got a super cringeful shoe. If you guys don't know, this is my first ever video on YouTube back in 2016. Uh, this brings back a lot of memories. Super clean. You cannot go wrong with the Wheat Air Force One highs or the lows. And then we actually have the first pair, or I think the second pair of the Zoom Generations that ever came out back in 2003. Uh, I think the white pair was actually the first one, but I had to get them, support the boy, you know what I'm saying, LeBron, and I love the Zoom Generation model. All right, quick intermission, quick intermission. Uh, the rest of the sneakers are gonna be on the two shelves behind me or in the drop front, so you might see a mixture of Jordans and maybe a pair of Nike. So uh, stay tuned. We're about to get right into it. We have a pair of mint green New Balance 550 joints right here. We have the DJ Khaled. We the best Air Jordan 5s. One of my favorite pickups this year. We got the Air Jordan 1 Heritage. Super slept on Air Jordan 1 in my opinion. I recently purchased these off of the Gold app. Had to get them. Maybe the sneaker of the year 2022. I love these things. You got the Nike Air on the back. I thought it would have been crazy to put an I'm on my year logo on there, but they didn't. And I still love the I'm on my year four. Probably my favorite one out of the all four silhouettes. I'm sorry I had to do it. We have an early pair of the I'm on my years. This is the I'm on my year 12. I'm going to be doing a full review on no feed very soon. So stay tuned if you're new by hitting the subscribe and notification bell for your boy. We got the I'm on my year Air Jordan ones. I love these. Probably my second favorite out of the I'm on my year line. And then we have the Air Jordan 2 Amama Year, which I these might be 
number one super slept on it's kind of hard to rank when you got all of them uh, but i love the air Jordan 2 i'm on my year as well got a pair of cool kai in that candy paint red and we also have an all red pair of the air Jordan 11 this is the wind like 96s we got a clean pair of air jordan 12 royalties these are not the taxis but i do have the taxis in the collection we'll get into those a little bit later probably one of my most recent pickups the air jordan 11 cherries Thought these was crazy, probably slept on. But a couple years down the line, people are gonna regret not copying these bad boys right here. Got a Chrissy pair of Air Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. I really love how they, you know what I'm saying, came out with this colorway right here, what it's inspired by, what it's meant for. And uh, yeah, clean Air Jordan 1 in the collection. Next we have the Air Jordan 1 Handcrafted. Uh, these right here are probably one of the most underrated Air Jordan 1s. They have a lot of different materials. Uh, the Air Jordan 1 Wings logo is super crazy. And you got that mocha brown in there. So anything with mocha, I'm most likely gonna copy. Oh man, the camera's super bright, but these are the yums. I'm actually gonna turn the brightness down for y'all. This is the yums. These were released a long, long time ago. Uh, they actually reached out to me. They sent me out a couple pairs and they sent this pair over as well. I forget the actual colorway name of them, but these are the yums. A lot of people are probably like, yo, what are those? And then something a little bit more traditional. We have the undefeated Air Force Ones and I kind of like biohack colorway themed sneaker. I uh, love these things right here. I was happy to add them for retail. And that's something that you probably won't hear a lot when you hear undefeated collabing with Nike. We have a pair of Air Jordan 4 breads and we also have a pair of Air Jordan 4 fire reds. Probably top two Air Jordan 4 colorways of all time. We have the clean Air Jordan 3 Fire Reds. I actually doubled up on these. So you're probably going to see them a little later in the video. And also have the Air Jordan 1 uh, Lost and Found Chicago. That release and that reimagined vibe. I love them. Crackle leather up top. Probably top one or two pickups for me in 2022 i love these things all right you see and we have a pair of air Jordan 4 lightnings uh if you guys do not know we're going to be getting the air Jordan 4 thunders next year i'm excited for that one i love air Jordan 4s and actually have an air Jordan 4 collection video if you guys want to tap into that one and then we have a pair of air Jordan 6 uncs this release was crazy they did not officially release on the sneakers app like they didn't have like a a date on there they did a shock drop or like a sneaker pass but these right here are super clean i love that unc colorway had to have them we have a pair of air jordan 7 trophy rooms i actually got these for retail which is probably hard to believe love them happy to have them in the collection and then my only off-white in the collection is the air jordan 5 off-white and that cell colorway love these things i didn't beat these things up probably need to go ahead and secure another pair we have a pair of air jordan 3 true blues released back in 2016 leather quality was trash but i had to get them og colorway love these things and another recently released sneaker is the air jordan 1 women's exclusive denim joints uh, i thought this one was a crazy pair probably one of the most underrated air jordan 1s of 2022 in my opinion we got another pair of cool kai's these released back in 2021 i believe in our runs colorway and we also have them in that miami hurricane color away as well we got a pair of air jordan 9 chili red things and another slept on air jordan 1 we have the gorge green joints this is actually a pair of air jordan 1 mids that i customized try to make the chicago's i failed miserably and i think these are called the jordan futures you know modeled after the jordan 11 in that gamma colorway hopefully they drop the gammas in 2023 oh my god i'm finally getting to these my favorite foam posit in the collection we have the galaxy 2.0s these things right here hold all the weight for themselves i love them and hopefully one day i can actually add the foam posit galaxy 1.0s i have a pair of air jordan 1 mids that I released i believe last year had to get them super crazy and i believe this is my last pair of cool cards that i have in a collection in that cool gray uh colorway next we have the air jordan 11 women's exclusive midnight navy joints that I released this year and one of my top 10 pickups of 2022 we have the air jordan 7 cardinals check them out we have the air jordan 1 uh women's exclusive varsity reds aka the chanel's love these things right here probably one of the most slept on releases this year as well next we have the air jordan 1 light fusion reds came with all types of laces leather quality was bananas on these and i forget when these actually released probably last year if i'm not mistaken hey these shoes right here speak for themselves we have the taxi air jordan ones hey, and then this shoe right here is actually gifted to me from the homie jada sneaker guy hey i appreciate it bro something i definitely got to pull out this fall and winter season because the colorway go crazy on these Air Jordan 2s right here. I think these are called the 218 Air Jordan 2 Lows. We have the Air Jordan 1 Stealth Grays. And then one of my favorite Air Jordan 1s, uh, even though it is a remastered uh, version of it, we have the Air Jordan 1 uh, Patent Breads. 
these things go bananas, man. Now we get into some dunks. We got the Lucky Green or the Lottery Pack Nike Dunk Lows. And the cool thing about these sneakers, you can actually uh, wipe the swoosh off and I forget what shows underneath it, uh, but I thought that was pretty cool. And I also have the UCLA uh, Nike Dunk Lows that I picked up this year as well. Got the Nike Dunk Low Miami Hurricanes. Also got them in that uh, Arizona State University uh, colorway as well. Got another pair of undefeated Air Force Ones right here. I forget the colorway or the, like the name of the colorway. When I initially seen them, they had all sold out. So I had to go over on GOAT and uh, secure this pair. But the quality all around it goes crazy. And like I said, man, I had to double up on the Air Jordan 3 Fire Reds. DS gonna keep these on ice for a couple of years to come. Whenever I wanna step out with a fresh pair, hey, I'ma have them right here. I actually just picked these up a couple of months ago. This is the Air Jordan 6 Georgetowns, and we have the Air Jordan 11 low, 72 and 10 things. I need to go ahead and go back and get the highs that I released a couple years back. We got a fresh pair of Air Jordan 1 Low Stage Haze. Uh, you actually get that crackled leather material going around the toe box, and that suede on these guys go crazy. I can't believe I was lucky enough to grab these off a of restock on the Nike Sneakers app. This is the Air Jordan 1 High Stage Haze joints. You have that pink Nike Air on the tongue. You actually get pink laces and white laces that come equipped in them, and the resale is rising crazy on these right here. We have another pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows. Check them out. This is the powder blue Jordan 1 Lowe's that released this year. I love this colorway right here, man. All right, guys, next we have a pair of Air Jordan 14 Thunders. We got the 2011 or 2012 uh, version of the Bread 11s. You guys remember this day went down in history. People was fighting, people was going crazy over this release, storming the stores. And uh, this is actually one of those all time greats in the Air Jordan 11 colorways. This one you gotta have. We got the Air Jordan 6 uh, Cigars. I think this is the colorway. It's another pair that's brown. Or this might be the champagne, the other pair of cigars. Uh, super clean. I actually had to pay resale on these guys. Got the ring right there. Super dope Air Jordan 6. Got the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Airs. Got the big X on the back. Maybe the most slept on release of this year, in my honest opinion. Got a pair of LeBron 9s and that Big Bang colorway. I love these. This is my grill pickup for this year. If you guys didn't watch that video, you missed out. Super significant to me. I missed out on this colorway back in the day. Had to have them and the resale was low, so I put the trigger on these guys. We have a pair of the Air Jordan 11 Jubilees, the 25th or the 20th anniversary Air Jordan 11. A lot of people slept on this release. I actually ended up doubling up on this pair right here. Got a pair of Travis Scott trainers. You got the Cactus Corporation on the back. Uh, you actually have the backward swoosh on the inner of these guys. I love them. That mocha colorway, I told you, I'm gonna see a lot of this colorway in my senior collection. A uh, recently released Air Jordan 4. We have the infrared joints. This year, they went crazy with the Air Jordan 4 colorways. I really enjoy adding these uh, to the collection. I told y'all earlier, we're going to show y'all. We got the Air Jordan 12 Taxis. Uh, crazy thing about these, I've traded uh, my Air Jordan 11 Legend Blues for these right here. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have just bought this DS because I kind of got them beat up. And then I end up beating them up even more, man. So here you have it, Air Jordan 12 Taxis. And something that the Air Jordan 4 Infrared was kind of mocked up after. We have the Green Glow 4s. I actually bought these off resale. I think I got these. I actually got these from the homie, Jay just Sneaker guy. For a very, very reasonable price, had to get them in the collection. We got a pair of Air Jordan 1 uh, Royals. Love these things right here. It's probably like on a lot of people's top one or two Air Jordan 1 colorways of all time. And then a pair that I actually ended up doubling up on in 2019. We got the Air Jordan 4 Cool Grays. And I gave my double a pair to my little brother before he started school. And if you guys check the resale value right now, I know a lot of y'all probably say, I bet you regret giving it to your little brother. I don't, but I should have gave him something else that wasn't as expensive as Air Jordan 4 Cool Grays. We got the Ginger 14. I love this colorway, super dope. One of those kind of, I guess you could say nostalgic colorways because they're not an OG, but something that released back in the day. Always grew up wanting to get it, and now we finally grabbed them this year. And then we have the Air Jordan 3 Canvas, I think that's what he called. I forget the name of them. Uh, but we kind of got that canvasy material going all around the sneaker. You actually got some wool too on the heel of these. Got your red jump man on the back. Not much to say about this Air Jordan 3 right here. Got another pair of Air Jordan 2 Lows. This is the Gym Red Air Jordan 2 Lows. You have that turquoise hit on the inner and on the outsole of these guys. I forget the actual name of this Air Jordan 1, but this is the Air Jordan 1 Mid. And it kind of has that Chicago vibe is to the sneaker. Got the clean biohack Air Jordan 1s. I showed you guys undefeated kind of biohack sneaker. 
and this is what I was talking about right here. This is like one of my first early reviews on the channel. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mid True Loves. You have that translucent bottoms. I actually got a lot of wears out of these. Love this Air Jordan 1 Mid right here. Got a pair of Air Jordan 1 Bread Lows. And then we have a pair that came out of the Koja Pan pack. This is a metallic silver Air Jordan 1s with that pop out Air Jordan 1 Wings logo. Next, we got the Air Jordan 1 uh, Yellow Orcas. And I forget the name of this, but I think it is Air Jordan 1 Bloodlines, if I'm not mistaken. The leather quality on these guys was crazy. And I love the red piping going throughout the entire sneaker. Got the Air Jordan 1 metallic varsity reds and i forget what they call these but it has something to do with a snake because you got that like snake material all on the heel of these with the red toe box i think i got these like two three years ago but a uh, very cool sneaker got a pair of the Air Jordan one low metallic golds i actually had the high top version but ended up selling them like a couple years ago i uh, wasn't really wearing them just like these i've never worn them so i might see these on the closet very soon for sale next we got a pair of Air Jordan one mids another one i've never worn before and it kind of had that uh union vibe to it and another pair that's ds i can't wait to rock them the Air Jordan one uh women's exclusive core purples we got the clean Air Jordan one prototypes they have that cutout going all around so you can actually get some scissors cut this thing around and make these Air Jordan one low i believe these are the top three Air Jordan one women's exclusives if i'm not mistaken or the chicago to unc yeah the unc chicago that's what these are the quality on these was crazy got the george letterman air jordan ones if you guys don't know about this search it up pretty much jordan wear a jumpsuit that matched his color then they put it on the air jordan one that released back in 2015 another pair of air jordan one mids we have uh what is the name of these the fear air jordan ones i don't know i don't know the specific name of this color but i know it was a collab with like an artist pretty much made an air jordan one mid out of an outfit he wore when he was a kid. I forget the name of the person, but you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Got a pair of Air Jordan 11 Space Gems, my second ever video on YouTube. Always gonna have these in the collection. They starting to yellow pretty bad, but I love this colorway. Got the Air Jordan 1 uh, Phantoms. I think they call the Phantoms, man. Uh, but the, look at the quality, bro. Like the, the leather quality was crazy. I literally beat these things up, wear them all the time. They're super simple to rock. Got that nice little splash red, my favorite color. Can't go wrong with them. Got the Air Jordan 11 low uh jeters with the two on the back suede all around these things you actually got some uh translucent outsoles on these as well wore these to italy right and it started raining had to take them off so i guess i was walking around in for like three four hours and some slides we got a recently released air jordan one damn these things are dusty as hell oh my god i forgot i even had these or what is going on these things are dusty these just released this is uh i believe the royal toe air jordan ones I gotta clean these up and rock them because I don't know what the hell happened to these. Got another pair of Air Jordan Ones. This is the Marina Blues, kind of like a little quick spinoff of the Royals. And then we have the Air Jordan One Low Starfish Lows. Or actually, these call like the Shadow Backboard Lows. And then we have the Bread Toe Lows that I picked up a couple years back when I lived in Germany as well. Love this colorway, sold the highs, so I went ahead and grabbed the low top version that released. Then we have a pair of 11s, the Air Jordan 11 win like 82, kind of like that midnight navy colorway going all the way around, patent leather with that clean outsole. Next, we have the Air Jordan 1 low court purples. I love these. I got to pull these out because I didn't know how fire these things was. So just now, I honestly forgot I had them. Got the Air Jordan Got the Air Jordan 11 low Easters or the Iridescence. I forget the actual name. Kind of got that crazy outsole on the bottom and the emerald green on the upper. Next, we have a pair of Air Jordan 3 Cool Grays. When these released last year, man, I was all over it. And I actually need to double up on a pair because I didn't beat these things up out of nowhere. Next, we have another pair of Air Jordan 3s. We have the Racer Blue Air Jordan 3s. Love this colorway. 3s and 4s is like one of my go-tos the last couple years. So I was happy to add this one. Next, we have a pair that you will not believe. Probably cost more than a lot of the other Jordans I showed y'all. We have the Air Jordan 4 Black Cats. And uh, I remember these were sitting everywhere. Next thing you know, they all worth six, seven hundred dollars. I don't know what happened. Next, we have the Air Jordan One uh, Bordos. Kind of got that same metallic swoosh like you got on uh, the Coach Pan Pack and that Pop Out Wings logo. We have the Shattered Backboard. Is this a 2.0 or the, yeah, the 3.0? This is Shattered Backboard 3.0s with that nice patent leather going all the way around. People trash the sneaker, but uh, kind of the hype and the respect for the sneaker kind of grew. And you see a lot of people actually adding to the collection today. We have the Air Jordan 3, I don't know the name of them, 
uh, but I got these a couple of years ago. I like the uh, translucent outsoles. I think that they actually glow in the dark. You have that knitted upper for uh, these Air Jordan 3s. Next, we have another pair of Air Jordan 1 mids. I think it's like the bread mids, but the difference between the actual bread mid and these, you get this red little strip. They could have just made it black and gave us a bread Air Jordan 1 mid. Air Jordan 7 Citrus. Uh, these right here, super slept on. Had to add them to nostalgia. These released a couple uh, times, I believe, or maybe one time before. But I was in high school and they released. I was like, bro, when I grow up, I got to add them to the collection. And now we have them this year. Next, we have the Air Jordan 4. Uh, I think they call it the Legend Blues or the Anniversaries. I forget. I remember this sneaker like it was yesterday. Had to have it. And then, of course, you guys know we had to show them eventually. We have the Air Jordan 1 Shadows. This sneaker speaks for itself. Probably one of the top three Air Jordan 1 colorways of all time. All right, guys. Probably my top five favorite sneakers in my collection. We have the Air Jordan 3 Black Cements. I love these right here. They speak for themselves. Got the Air Jordan 3 Katrinas. They just released back in 2018. Was a must cop. And then maybe my second favorite shoe in my collection. I know the Black Cements was probably number three or four. This is my second favorite. We have the Air Jordan 4 White Cement Things. Next, we have the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green. This was a woman's exclusive. Had to get it. Didn't have a lot of green uh, Air Jordan. So this is a no-burner cop for me. Next, we have the Air Jordan 4. Damn, what they call it? Oh, the Winter Rise. Air Jordan 4 Winter Rise. Kind of gives you that like Eminem vibe -ish sneaker. Uh, really love this. Next, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Cool Gray Thing. And then following up, we have the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct. I'm still on a hunt for the 2.0. So if you got them for a nice reason, price hit your boy up we got the air drum for raptors if you guys do not know about this one they actually released a pair that had uh drake's signature on the back and it kind of has some confetti on the other pair if i'm not mistaken but this is the regular toronto uh raptor air drum four that released a while back next you have a pair that i don't even know what i did with the laces i gotta figure that out because i'm looking like yo where the laces at this is uh the metallic air drone fives hopefully they bring it back eventually these things is yellow and like crazy but the bottom is still blue. I don't know what's up with that. But got to get another pair. And I got to find a goddamn on laces, man. What, what's going on? Next, we have the Air Jordan 5 Oreos, man. Another one of those sneakers I released back in the day. I said, I'm going to get them eventually. Y'all can flex on me now. But later, I'm going to add them and appreciate them. So I got to get some rocks out of these Oreo things. The name's clean, bro. Next, we have another pair that's already starting yellow. And they still DS. This is the Bel Air, Bel -Air uh, 2.0s that released a couple years back. Super crazy colorway. I know a lot of people slept on these that was sitting for a little minute, but that two, three on the side go crazy. And the shoe that always makes me mad every time I see it, we have the International Flight Air Jordan 3s. But the only thing that makes me mad is this right here. I don't know what the heck, on, I don't know what happened. But every time I look at this shoe, I get mad and I haven't worn it ever since because I can't get this gum or mud or maybe dog shit. I don't know. All right, guys, next we have a pair of Air Jordan 5. And this was like a, a undefeated or a bait inspired colorway, I don't know. I don't even know the name of this sneaker right here and if you're new to the channel you don't know your boy the vintage this is my favorite sneaker number one of all time this holds a lot of weight for your boy so if you see this I'm probably another three four times because i got like three four five pair of carmines in the collection i know you guys see that pair right there in that glass uh container we have a pair of air jordan 3 tokyos man then yeah tokyo depends with the different uh you know lettering on the back in a different language and of course you got air at the bottom with that translucent back tab and they also released another pair that was a uh, us exclusive and it was just the denims this was like the denim tokyo version of that pair right there we have a pair of cherry 11 lows i beat these things up then i got some henny on there too i don't know what happened uh but these things have been through a lot and it's probably time for me to actually clean them, which I never do because I have so many other sneakers. Next, we have a pair of Adrian 2 Radio Rahims. These don't get a lot of respect, but had to add them to the collection. And as you guys can see, we have probably top five uh, sneakers released this year in a lot of people's lists. We have the Air Jordan 12 playoff things. These things are so beautiful. And then next, we have another one of those, you know, nostalgic colors for your boy. If you did not watch the review on no feet, go check it out. You know why I say nostalgic. Uh, we have the Green Bean Air Jordan 5s. I was so happy to add these to the collection. Uh, next, we have the Ray Allen Air Jordan 7. Pretty much inspired from uh, back when he played for the Milwaukee Bucks. And then I had to grab both of the sneakers because this is the same shoe. This is the What The air jordan 5 actually this is not the what the, i forgot what these are called 
because the what does are something i'm gonna show you guys in a second but these right here i forget the name of the shanghai to some i don't know man but these things go crazy i had to add them man next we have the air jordan 11 low closing ceremonies or the ring ceremony i think it's called the ring ceremony air jordan 11 lows translucent outsoles and a shoe that a lot of people see me having they're like yo where'd you get them or how you still got them so clean this is the air jordan 5 black grapes and i got these when i was in uh germany actually i went to a sneaker convention in luxembourg uh, which is a different country. Don't know where I was at. Me and a homie, the retro whiz kid, drove all the way up there. Had to go home with something, and I copped the black grape Air Jordan 5s. And you see them, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Blues. Hopefully, next year they drop the Legend Blue 11s and the Gammas. That would be crazy. All right, next we have the Air Jordan 9 Space Jams. This released the same week of the Space Jam 11s. Had to get them. When I got them, I was super excited because it's like my first pair of Air Jordan 9s in the collection. They need to bring back the cool grades ASAP though. Next we have the Air Jordan 6 Defining Moment Packs. Hopefully it dropped the DMP 11s next year. It's just so many sneakers that I need to go back or they need to go back and retro for the sneaker community, but these is lovely. We have the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders. And like I told you guys earlier in the video, the regular Thunder 4s will be dropping next year, 2023. I can't wait. Next we have the OG Air Jordan 6 black infrared you see the three i'm popping out of these things uh cool story about these another cool story i hit on the shock drop on the nike sneakers app in europe i forget the i don't know how they spell their sneakers app but i couldn't read none of the damn words on there i just shot from the hip i was like damn what's the size nine in uk uh end up getting through and uh now we have them here super excited to have these in the collection og colorway these are some must-haves right here next we have the air jordan 7 hairs uh, they actually dropped a hair Air Jordan 6 that I was probably going to grab. And I was like, you know what? I already got the hair 7s. Uh, super dope. And this is probably like top five Air Jordan 7s of all time. Next, we have the Chinese New Year Air Jordan 6s. Kind of give you a DMP vibe bitch colorway. Air Jordan 9 University Gold. You got that 2 3 on the back. Uh, very kind of standard basic colorway, but something you can rock during that fall winter season. Don't got to worry about getting too dirty because uh, it's pretty much all black. Now, this pair right here is the What the Air Jordan 5s. You got the grape tongue right there. You have the infrared bottoms. And I forget the other sneaker that they threw on this What the 5, uh, but had to get it to the collection. Next, we have the alternate 89 Air Jordan 6s. These things is beat to, oh my God, they so beat. But uh, this is back when I first started YouTube and I was just pretty much just buying anything and I haven't worn this pair and probably, I probably never have worn it. This is DS. No, it's not DS, it's not DS. I wore it probably a couple times, but damn, the thing is yellow and bad, huh? So as you can see, I have two right shoes. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys peep it out. I have a lot of pair of Carmines, that's two rights. Uh, and I have another pair that I gotta show y'all here eventually, but you guys can see it. Air Jordan 6 Carmine is my favorite shoe of all time. And if I can get three more pair, I would just so I can keep wearing them, wearing them. Anytime I just want to throw some on, I go to my Carmines because I love these things so much. And then we have the Air Jordan 5, uh, what do they call these? The Storm Blues or the, I forget what they call these, but it's all, or Blue Suede. The Blue Suede Air Jordan 5. Uh, these things is, yeah, just blue. Another must have in anybody's sneaker collection. We have the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. You got that clean Nike Air on the back. And this is my like top two pickups of the year for 2021. Next, we have the Multicolor Air Jordan 8s. I got these for like 70 bucks on Nike. So like, why not? Then we have the Air Jordan 4 Military Blacks I released this year. Uh, probably one of the most hyped basic colorways in the Air Jordan 4 uh, model, in my opinion. But these things went crazy, the leather quality dope, and it's a nice subtle colorway in my opinion. Next, we have the Air Jordan 8 Sequoias, or yeah, I think they're like the Sequoia Air Jordan 8s, but I think they was calling this colorway something else. But uh, yeah, here you have it, another pair of sneakers in the collection. One of my favorites, had to pay resell on these like four or five years ago. We have the Air Jordan 7 uh, Dornbeckers. Out, so go crazy on these or whatever kid made these man he went crazy on these joints and then we have the air jordan 11 concord breads then the call these the concord breads so i'm not mistaken uh but when these first released people was like yo what is going on then people started getting hip on them and i'm pretty sure they're gonna drop a hot top version of these in the near future next we have the air jordan 5 organs you don't have any like organ logo on the back or nothing crazy like that but this is like the gr pair of the Oregon player exclusive. We have another clean pair of Air Jordan 8s right here as you can see. And this is like one of the first times I ever hit on the draw on the Nike sneakers app. We have uh, the championship pack Air Jordan 8s. They dropped in a white pair 
and in a black pair. We got the Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens, Air Jordan 9 uh, Black Infrared, or Charcoal, it's Charcoal Air Jordan 9s, I'm tripping. Uh, I had to pay resale for these, but it's definitely a must in the collection. Charcoal 9s go crazy. Like I said, we need the Kilroys, we need the Cool Grays. Now I know I'm forgetting one other Air Jordan 9 that we need, but uh, it's a lot that Jordan brand need to come back out with. Bro, I don't know where all of my laces are being, okay, here they go. Laces in here, I'm like, what the heck is going on with all my laces? But we have the Air Jordan 5, alternate grape things uh when these first came out people was going crazy over them i was lucky enough to hit on the flex app which never happens uh but here we have them today all right next we have the air jordan 14 indie glows probably one of the most slept on colorways people probably don't even know what these are but this is the end the glow air jordan 14 air jordan 13 chinese new years I actually got these from Bay. She blessed me. But super happy to add these to the collection. Uh, these things just go crazy. We got the Air Jordan 13. Uh, he got games. I didn't beat these things up so bad. I need to go back and probably pay resale for a fresh, crispy pair. Next, we have the Air Jordan 14 Last Shots. If you don't know what the Last Shot 14s is, man, just put in Michael Jordan Last Shot. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see these sneakers when he hit that game winner, man. Next, we have a pair that I'm probably most likely going to sell because I never worn these. It's crazy. We have them. Oh, man. And then the yellow is smearing off of the Michigan logo. That's crazy. I never worn them before, but the dang old Michigan smearing off. That's crazy. We have the Michigan uh, Wolverine Air Jordan 12. So the quality on these is crazy. I don't know what's going on with the M on the front, though. Next, we probably have the best or second best Air Jordan 7 of all time. We have the Bordo Air Jordan 7s. These things speak for themselves. And then we got the clean Candid Cane 14s. I can throw these on right now with a fit. They go crazy, bro. I love this colorway right here. Hey, words don't do enough for this one right here for me. Next, we have another Dornbecker. We have the DB12s. This was made by Savannah or Car Carissa. Or what's her name? Savannah or Carissa Savannah. Maybe that was her name, but you got Carissa on the back. And you had that piece of little logo on the front where the lace is at. These things are dope. Had to have them. Shout out to every kid made these joints right here. Next, we have the Bread Air Jordan 13s. Uh, you guys gonna see a lot more 13s coming soon. Uh, but this one right here is a must cop. And a lot of, you know, you gotta, you gotta add these joints, man. And another one of those must haves. You got the Air Jordan 13 Flints. These are so beautiful. Um, I, I, I can't even say nothing about it. Just know that you, you got to have these, bro. A lot of these 13s, you got to have them, bro. I'm just being real with y'all. And then we have another DB crazy story about these, man. I went in the Keymaster, put $10 in there. I took an L on the first try. On the second try, I hit gold. I struck gold on the DB 13s for $10. I can't believe it. But here you have it. Air Jordan 13, Dornbecker. And then we have a pair of 12s that I didn't even know I had still. You got the Air Jordan 12 uh, Varsity Blues or like storm blues or something like that but uh probably these probably won't be in the collection much longer man Woo! we almost to the finish line y'all next i'm gonna show you guys the air jordan 14 oh i forget the motorsport blues this is a motorsport air jordan 14 if i'm not mistaken i know a lot of y'all probably like that's the wrong name but i think this is the motorsport 14 and check them out we have the reverse ferraris i think they call the reverse ferraris I'm going to show you guys the regular Ferraris here in a second. Uh, but these right here is a must cop. And it was super hard to grab this sneaker. And like I said, got to show y'all them clean Air Jordan 14 Ferrari things. My favorite 14. Or maybe like my second favorite. But these things go crazy. I switched the laces out with the little glow, gold plaits right there. Man, these go so crazy. I'm telling y'all. Next, we have a pair of Air Jordan 14 Supremes. You got the Supreme logo on the back. And you also get Supreme on the tongue. And that uh, bezel going all around the sneaker uh, that's really what the main attraction is for these the bezels are going crazy on these joints air jordan 14 uh what is the name of these varsity red i think this is the varsity red air jordan 14 uh this was actually probably one of the most limited air jordan 14s i released back in 2020 it was super hard to get these man we have the toro air jordan 18s this is my only 18 in the collection i think this is the only thing i have above uh air jordan 14 we had a white pair and we also have a blue pair of the Air Jordan 14 Supremes. Air Jordan 14 DMPs. I actually had the 13s as well. This came in a pack. Uh, the pack was like $500, but I got these for under retail and gold. The whole pack, two sneakers for like $350. Next, we have one of the cleanest pair of Air Jordan 11s, in my opinion. The Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Uh, I need to go back and get a double up of these things because I love the Cool Gray 11. And then we have the Tinker Air Jordan 3s, the Tinker Hatfields. Uh, pretty much the sketch of him making the first Air Jordan 3 to end up taking a swoosh off. But they came back a couple years ago, they was like, yo, let's go ahead and show Tinker's design. And this is the first one that he dropped, Tinker Hatfield Air Jordan 3s. And we have the best, 
Air Jordan 12 of all time, in my opinion. We have the flu games, man. But another 12 that I need to go back and get, or Jordan may need to come back out with, is the Cherry 12s. That's probably gonna beat uh, the flu games for me, but these things are so beautiful. I need to pull these things out, you know what I'm saying? We're in that fall, winter season, so something that you definitely gotta rock, man. And then next we have the Air Jordan 13 Cherries. Uh, like I said, and beat these things up. A lot of 13s, 13s are just comfortable. Like I hoop in 13s. I wear 13s a lot, especially when I'm like not trying to go nowhere crazy. Definitely throwing a pair of 13s, super comfortable. Uh, and the cherry is the must have in any collection in my opinion. All right, we're officially on like the last leg of the sneakers. So if you're still sticking around, man, I appreciate y'all for real. We have the Air Jordan 9 Low Pantones, Air Jordan 6 Electro Lime, AKA the Oregon PE uh, lookalikes. I told y'all with the 14 that the entire pack, the 14 and the 13, of the dmps got a pair of air jordan 13 chutney lows hopefully one day i can get the chutney highs but uh i got these early actually on the channel one of my favorite pair of 13s in the collection and we have another pair of air jordan 11 lows this is the blue snakeskin version and i think they called this the reflection of a champion so you guys can see it's like busting in that 3m all over got the nike air in the back but it's pretty much modeled after the white infrared air jordan 6 and they just threw 3m all over the upper i think it was like kind of uh signifying you know fans in the in the crowd taking pictures of him when he wore the air jordan 6 during that championship run and this is my first pair of 12s that i ever bought for the collection this is the french blue air jordan 12s and i actually like doubled up on these and this is back when like 12s is going for like super crazy and i sold one pair for like 350 dollars. i would never spend 350 for these but it's still a dope pair of air jordan 12s next we have the air jordan 11 uh cap and gowns and these right here look super similar to the gammas so hopefully next year they bring the gammas back because i don't even know where the laces in for these bro oh here they go laces inside i don't know why the laces are out but i haven't worn these in about two three years man next we have the air jordan 12 masters i don't know why they call them the masters but it's pretty much an all over black sneaker i actually had to pay resale for these or i think i traded something for them i got the jump man on the side haven't worn them in a while definitely got to pull them back out for this winter season we have the air jordan 11 low breads we got the air jordan 1 metallic uh blue joints right here and something that i recently picked up uh the air jordan 5 shattered backboards and it's crazy because these are actually the last two shoes that's in my drop front they happen to be like two of my favorite sneakers we have the air jordan 11 concord and we have the air jordan 11 breads two of my favorite air jordan 11s in my collection i know this probably goes down as like one and two for a lot of people in their opinion hey give yourself a round of applause and i want to give myself a round of applause because this video literally took me about three hours to create uh just the footage wise i can just imagine how long it's gonna take me to edit but i appreciate everybody for sticking through watching the entire video uh it really means a lot this all came from you guys watching the channel supporting the channel so i think when i first started youtube i only had about 20 pairs of shoes and now you guys see we have like 200 plus pairs of sneakers in the collection so i want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for tuning in to today's video it actually means a lot to me you guys know we're on that grind to 100,000 subscribers so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new hit that like button and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content and the goal for this video is bare minimum a thousand likes so share this with a friend with a friend let them know your boy the vintage finally dropped this entire sneaker collection video give you guys a treat like i said this is all because of y'all all these sneakers i bought is because of youtube and you guys supporting the channel so it actually means a lot i'm telling y'all from the bottom of my heart a lot of these shoes will be going on sale on my uh instagram the vintage underscore closets so go tap in I'm gonna let stuff go for steals. Just wanna, you know, let go of a lot of these old shoes and, uh, you know, put that money towards getting more stuff for the channel. So if you wanna tap in, get some steals, some deals, go tap into my IG link down below in the description box, the vintage underscore closet. All right, man, that's it. That was a long video. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate all of the support. And all that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.